Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is rolling out the red carpet today for his Hungarian counterpart, Viktor Orban. Orban has been criticized in the past for his alliances with parties deemed anti-Semitic. But recently, the right-wing populist leader has been projecting a more Jewish-friendly image. Well, our correspondent uh, Beatrix Asboth is live for us in Budapest with the latest on this. I mean, Beatrix, they, the two leaders, they seem like unlikely allies. What is Viktor Orban hoping to achieve uh, in Israel and what do you think this could mean for the rest of Europe? What we officially know about his program is that he's flying to Israel this afternoon with four of his ministers. And tomorrow morning he will meet Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem and will have a closed-door meeting and then he will visit uh, Yad Vashem Memory Center. So that's all what we know officially. According to Israeli press, uh, Prime Minister Orban will not meet any Palestinian leaders and will not step on Palestinian territory by which he breaks the protocol. Uh, Mr. Orban was invited uh, to Israel by Benjamin Netanyahu this April, right after he won the Hungarian parliamentary elections. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited Budapest last July, decades after uh, no relationship, basically, because uh, uh, no other Israeli prime ministers visited Budapest for decades. About the two countries' uh, relationship, it's uh, very interesting because Hungary seems to be a close ally of Israel within the European Union. Just as Hungary is a close ally of Russia and Turkey, all three countries are often criticized by European leaders. Uh, they agree, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and Prime Minister Orban agree on migration and the anti-George Soros policy. It's a very interesting relationship. We'll see what they will talk about tomorrow.